All right, so this video is just going to serve as a preview for a couple of links that I'm putting down into the description. Um, first and foremost of which is a preview of Ryochi Taguchi versus Mila Melindo. I've talked about this fight a couple of times in recent videos. Um, big uh, unification clash at the end of the year on December 31st, um, being broadcast by a Tokyo Broadcasting System or station, I think, CBS <laughs> in any case in Japan. Um, Taguchi is the WBA light flyweight champion. Melindo is the IBF light flyweight champion. They're going to be unifying. And they, incidentally, they're also rated number one, uh, Taguchi is. And M Melindo is rated number two by Ring Magazine. So the winner of this fight will become the Ring Magazine champion. Um, neither of them are rated top two by uh, TBRB, uh, the Transnational uh, Boxing Rankings Board. Um, so this wouldn't be for the TBRB lineal title necessarily. Uh, but it will be, you know, for, for pretty high stakes. Um, I, th I think TBRB, matter of fact, uh, rates Taguchi and uh, Melindo somewhere. I, th I think they're about like three and four or four and five, something like that. Um, but, you know, the Life Flyweight division is a, a very jam-packed division with a lot of talent. And, I mean, the top <laughs> five or six or seven guys in, in that weight class are, are so evenly matched that they're, they're virtually interchangeable insofar as how you might rate them um, either from, from an eye test perspective or even from an achievement perspective. At least from an achievement perspective, though, like with certain wins, if you're going off of the official results, um, you know, it's a little bit easier to kind of rank them in a hierarchy, at least uh, when it comes to top three kind of versus everybody else. Um, but um, otherwise, you know, it's a very evenly matched division, and uh, this is a, pr a relatively evenly matched fight. I think they kind of play into each other's strengths really nicely, and in the video, you will see Ryochi Taguchi um, d defending his WBA title, his most recent defense against Robert Barrera, as well as Akira Yagashi's um, defense. This was two fights ago, uh, or excuse me, uh, Mil Mila Melindo's fight two fights ago. I'm, I'm making a Freudian slip here. Mila Melindo's fight two fights ago, his, his, uh, his um, usurpation of uh, Akira Yagashi for, to become the IBF light flyweight champion after a couple of years of, you know, uh, near, near misses, basically. So you got that one. And then the other video is going to be basically uh, picking up where Roman Gonzalez left off when he, Gonzalez decided to vacate his WBC flyweight title. Um, it'll follow the lineage whereby the top two um, contenders... Nawapan Pochokchai, a.k.a. Nawapan Kaikana, and Juan Churritos Hernandez fight for the vacant title. Um, Kaikana was rated number one. Hernandez was rated number two. So they faced off to fight for the vacant title. Um, and then it, it will follow the lineage from there with the winner of that fight fighting, facing off against uh, Daigo Higa, who, of course, is currently the champion at, at 112 pounds for the WBC. And it will also showcase Higa's first defense against Thomas Masson. Three excellent action-packed fights. And, like, I, I'm not even, I'm, you know, I'm not even overstating how good these fights were. Really, really excellent um, series of fights. And it just shows you, you know, the, that even with uh, the likes of uh, Chocolatito and Estrada having moved up out of the flyweight division, um, you, got, you got young guns looking to, uh, to try and, you know, make their way, pave their name. Into uh, into the history books, into the uh, into the minds of of the boxing fan, whether hardcore, casual. I mean, shit. In, in Japan, in Japan, you know, the, these guys, even casual fans, know who these guys are. You know, doing um, millions upon millions. You know, seven, eight million viewers a a, a show uh, on TV. And you know, guys like Higa, guys like uh, Kose Tanaka, Kaz you know, formerly Kazuto Yoka, he's going to be on the shelf most likely for a little while. Now Inoue, uh, Ryota Murata, especially, he's the biggest star uh, of them now. Um, uh, largely due to his Olympic gold medal, uh, you know, the, these guys are really um, showing out in full force and, you know, showing that, uh, that boxing definitely truly is a, an international sport in a, in a major way. Um, not only because of, of their own accomplishments, but even their accomplishments against some of the guys that they're beating who, you know, range all across the world, you know, guys from, from the Philippines and, and Thailand, uh, Mexico, uh, Colombia, Argentina, South Africa, um, all, all throughout the planet, man. There's a lot, a lot of great fighters out there and uh, a, lot, a lot of great fights to be had out there. Um, I, I, matter of fact, the 108-pound division, I think, kind of showcases that uh, in, in spades as well, you know, just by virtue of um, pretty much the, the, a lot of those top fighters, you know, they, they kind of uh, have come from a pretty good variety of, of different uh, locations, locales across the world. But um, I'm going off into a little bit of a tangent. Uh, I hope you guys check out the links. I'm going to link them down in the description below. Um, it's English commentary. It's myself, uh, Charlie Brown Boxing, and EJ Boxing Live. Of course, EJ Boxing Live was kind of hosting myself and, and Charlie on, um, on the channel doing the commentary. 
and um, I, you know, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. You know, it's uh, it's rare where you sometimes get to see the, these lighter weight fighters um, from non-English speaking countries. You know, get get with the English commentary. So I hope you guys really enjoy uh, what you see, and um, I hope you know some of you guys become maybe a little bit bit, bit bigger fans of of uh, the guys that I'm talking about. So that's all it's gonna that's all that's gonna be for for this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.